sweet world. Welcome back to my flower shop, everybody. Oh, wait, I mean sweet shop. But I am doing a lot of gardening right now. Look at this beautiful flower I have. Have you ever seen a flower in real life? You have? Aren't they beautiful? God made flowers so beautiful and unique, and he takes care of them every single day. Are you more important than a flower? Yes. So if God takes care of the flowers, God can definitely take care of you. Are you ready to do our first activity? Let's go. Let's do a flower movement activity together. So whenever I pull a flower from our cup, we have to do whatever activity it says. Are you ready? Let's pull the first flower. <gasps> Flap like a chicken. Gallop like a horse. <laughs> Wiggle like a worm. Hop like a bunny! That was a lot of fun. Are you ready for a science experiment now? Me too! Let's go! Let's do a blooming flower science experiment together. Did you know that there's some flowers that bloom in the water called water lilies? And we're going to make a flower bloom in the water too, using something called capillary action. Are you ready to make these flowers bloom in the water? Let's do it. Let's put the flowers in the water and watch them bloom. We have a red flower and a blue flower, a yellow flower and a purple flower. They bloomed in our water. That was such a cool science experiment. Thanks for joining me today. And don't forget, if God takes care of the flowers, he's definitely gonna take care of you. I'll see you next week, bye. Thanks for watching. Now let's explore God's sweet world together. For more fun, ask a grown-up to subscribe.